Happy New Year. I'm David Chaston. This is 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of booming commodity exports in Australia. But first, new job creation in the US was modest in December, coming in as expected at 156,000 and right on their long-term average. But the November new jobs data was revised up from 178,000 to 204,000. 2.2 million new jobs were created in 2016, on top of the 2.7 million created in 2015. And even more impressively, pay rates rose, more than making up for the surprise unchanged level in November. The average American wage is now $26 an hour, a 2.9% rise in a year, and the fastest increase since 2009. Some analysts are now expecting 2017 wage gains to top 3.5% now that the unemployment rate is below 5%. 2017 has opened a huge rush of corporate bond issuance. More than 20 billion was issued on the first trading day of the year, a record by miles. And that included BNZ parent NAB issuing 3.5 billion of it. Treasurers trying to lock in current interest rates in the expectation that they're about to rise. Across the ditch, Australia has posted a surprise trade surplus in November of more than $1 billion and a sudden surge in exports. Driving that, were more iron ore exports, the most since August 2014, and the most coal exports since January 2012. This surge is expected to last until the middle of the year. In China, data out over there over the weekend shows that their foreign currency reserves continue to shrink, but at a slower pace. They now stand at just over $3 trillion, down about $41 billion from the November level. Beijing has taken measures recently to slow the outflow, and being active with the exchange rate is one way they can keep the US dollar value above the psychologically important $3 trillion level. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 2.42. Remember, this is a rate that was up over 2.6% before Christmas. Oil prices are now just under $54 for the US benchmark, while the Brent benchmark is now just on $57 a barrel. US rig count is up yet again last week, now at a one-year high. And the gold price will start a little softer today at $1,172 an ounce. New Zealand dollar ended last week at 69.6 US cents. On the cross rates, it's holding at 95.5 Aussie cents and against the euro at 66.1 euro cents. The TWI is at 76.1. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.